don't know how many of us have this funny issue. I know I have quite a lot, where you are trying to do a reconciliation and there's absolutely nothing. You don't know even where to start. So this is our spreadsheet. This is um, reconciliation. We have an extract from the bank statements. You have all this Solomon uh, B2337 uh, Solomon account posting. So I guess that's an account posting. We are looking, we have an amount here, and then we, ha we need to extract the account code for us to do a, a reconciliation. And by the way, the report that we want to extract from this database is this. Somebody wants to see, okay, where exactly are all our expenses coming from? Ad hoc services is 22%, tools, we spend 17% uh, of all our money on tools, 16.24% of our money on food, power, and then IT equipment and repairs. So this is the report. This is what management uh, wants to see. So we've downloaded our, our bank statement for the month, and we need to now analyze all these expenses and kind of convert it to, to that report. Oops, sorry, to that report we're looking at. So question, how do we do that? Uh, so um, now let's, let's see. So how do you break it down? Now, the way I, I break down complex problems in Excel is I, I ask myself, how will I do this thing manually? So if I was to do this manually, first thing I will do is read this statement, obviously. I'll read this statement. Then I'll ask myself, what exactly am I even looking for? Oh, I'm looking for account codes. So before, if I'm looking for account codes, then I better know all the account codes I'm looking for. So if I come to this spreadsheet to the right, these are all the account codes I'm looking for. So I may need to cram this. I may need to like put it in my head, cram the whole thing. So these account codes, what I'm going to do here, so if I want to cram it, I can actually make Excel cram it too, isn't it? So I have to put it in my head and say, okay, I'm looking for A2104. I'm looking for A2105. So I highlight this and I give it a name. I'm going to call this one accounts. Okay. So I've highlighted these account codes and I went to the, the name box up here and I gave it a name. I called it accounts. So now that I've crammed my account codes, the next thing I ask myself is, okay, fine. I've crammed my account codes. Now I need to find out if any of those account codes are inside this. So I need to like search for it. So in Excel, there's a function called search. So there's a function called search in Excel. So in Excel, I'm going to search for, and if you look at it, Excel says, what are you searching for? I'm searching for a text. Now, unfortunately, the function Excel only searches for one text at a time. But what I want to do is search for all the account codes and see whether they are inside here. So there's already a problem. If you look at the way Excel works is you, when you type a function, you need to follow the exact syntax. This thing is called the syntax. You need to follow the rules of that function. So this function says, the first thing you should do is what text are you finding? Unfortunately for Excel, I don't want to find one text. I want to find all of these, everything. I want to find all these texts, which is all these account codes, which we've called account. So that's the very first problem. Excel is going to complain very soon because Excel said specifically, find text, but we are finding plural texts. So let's continue. So I want to find accounts in this particular text. I want to see if any one of those accounts are in there. And I close my bracket. So I'm looking for any of these accounts inside the cell. Excel gives me an error because Excel doesn't understand what I'm doing. But really, Excel says find text. I'm going to find many texts. But really, what's hiding inside this uh, formula, if I blow this formula up, is this. A very ugly looking long list of statements saying value, 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 value. And then if you notice, there's one up here. There's one, one there. So technically, this thing is finding errors everywhere except for one. And this one means that there's somebody on the top of the list. So let's see. Skip. So one, what does one mean? This Emmanuel. If you see Emmanuel is A1204. And then it's saying one. If you press F9, value, 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 that means the first uh, account it didn't find. It didn't find the second, it didn't find the third, it didn't find the fourth, but it found the fifth. This is one, two, three, four. It found the fifth item on the list. Now if you come here and count to the right, one, two, three, four, 
and 5, you see that the fifth item is A2104, which is what we're looking for here, A2104. Yeah, that's why it's there. It found that first. But really, this can't help us. We need something to convert this thing to true or false. So if it finds it, let's just say, I, did you see a number in here? So I'm basically going to type another function here called is number. Now, what does is number do? Is number is saying inside this my search, is there a number in all of this search that I did? Is there a number in there? So that's is number. Now, if number says false, but really what's inside it is now a whole list of trues and false. So we now have false, 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 true, false, 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 false. So we're saying that those list of accounts that we have, I think we have like 20 accounts. The first one is false, the second one is false, the third one is false, the fourth one is false, the fifth one is true. Now, that is true. So it would be nice for me to know that it is the fifth one that is true and not the sixth one or seventh one. I want to know that it's the fifth one that is true. So I need a way to convert that or find out where is true in this whole list of trues and false. Where is true? There's a function that can tell me exactly where true is. It's called mat. So I'm going to have a match at the beginning of the formula again and say, hey, match, I want you to match true inside all of this story, inside all these stories that I had before. Go and find out which one is true. All right. Now, if I enter, it's still going to give me an error because we didn't do what we were supposed to do at the beginning of the formula. The beginning of the formula asked for text and we gave it texts. So technically, this is going to give you an error. But if I force it to show me the answer, it actually shows me five. For those that want to know what I'm doing, when you want to audit a formula, when you press F2, if you press F9, it will force the formula to just show you the answer straight away. So I have an answer in there, rest assured, five. So technically there is five in there, all right? Five is in there. Now, what will I do with this five? What I can do with this five is say, okay, if you are the fifth item on the list, then just return this account code for me as in return this account code. So I want something to come to this list and go and count one, two, three, four, five, and return this fifth item. Now a function that does that well is called index. You can see that this formula is getting complex. Index, basically you tell index, hey index, go to the accounts, right? And then comma. So I want index, index, go to the accounts and all this match blah, blah, blah gives us five, if you remember. So I want you to go to accounts and go to the fifth row of this account and pull the value out. The last thing that index wants is a column. How many columns is this account column? It's just one. So I type one and I close my bracket. But then this will give me an error because of that issue I had of using a list instead of a cell. This is called an array formula. And the only way to enter an array formula is not enter, it is control shift enter. So now I've done control shift enter, you see how ugly our formula is and we have our answer. I'll recap it very soon, but if I double click this, you see that I have all the answers pulled out completely. So this is the only way to use a formula in Excel to tell Excel, go and read everything inside a statement and find what I'm looking for. And if you find it, pull it out. Now that we've pulled it out, we can do what uh, Esther knows very well, which is VLOOKUP. We can do a simple VLOOKUP now and say, hey, VLOOKUP, look for this uh, account code. Please look for it in this table here, this is the entire table, and give me the second, the second item on the list, and zero here. And then I put, I can, I can actually lock that. I'm going to lock the column of that. So now that gives me my Emmanuel. I double click Emmanuel and it gets fine. I can copy this formula and put it here, and then I change my VLOOKUP instead of looking for the second item on the list to look at the third item on the list. And then I have my power charges, and that's it. So that is how you use this very ugly looking long formula to get, to kind of look up a statement. So you're looking up a statement with that very long formula. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.